Monmouth Digital Network here at, on Hess Field on the Great Lawn. Hawks beat Niagara 3-1. to one. I'm here with senior Alexa Fregoletti. And Alexa, explain how you guys were able to keep a solid line in the back and prevent goal scoring opportunities. Um, we just really um, have been working in practice on our communication skills and really just making sure that we're tight and we're together and just that we're always talking and passing off players and just making sure that everything's accounted for and just really making sure that the little things are done right. Now, you also had two assists in this game. You do play defense, but in this game, you really pushed up and joined the attack. Um, how were you able to do that and why? Well, um, my teammates got a lot of uh, corner kicks for us. We got a lot of free kick opportunities, and those are kind of my time to go up and join the attack. And I think that my teammates working hard really got me to be able to go up and be in a part of that attack. So Now, as a team going forward, what do you guys have to do to keep uh, this winning streak going? We just have to keep building on just making sure that the little things are done correctly. Like we can't be taking steps backwards and forgetting to follow our mark or forgetting to track back or forgetting to mark up on a throw in. Just all the little things really need to add up and we just need to keep focusing and just keep working hard to just get the results. Well, thank you very much, Alexa. We'll be joined by head coach Chrissy Turner in just a moment. Joined now by head coach Chrissy Turner and coach, it was a 3-1 win. What was the game plan coming in, especially after coming in off of a big game against St. Peter's? Well, we knew that Niagara had only lost uh, one match um, during, the, during the season so far, and they were undefeated in league play. Then that they were going to be um, very talented in the air, they were going to work hard, and they were coming in with a lot of confidence. Um, so I thought it was important for us to get off to a good start. I thought in the first half we created a lot of good chances. We were a little bit unlucky just to have a, a one goal lead at halftime. I thought in the second half we just kind of, you know, we, we didn't really come out with the same intensity that we did in the first half. Um, but we were able to put two, two restart chances away. Certainly we generated a lot of um, corners um, and a lot of service in the box, and, and that's what the game's about. Now you mentioned Niagara coming in only with uh, minimal losses. They gave up only, I believe, seven goals coming into this game. Was that a uh, challenge for you guys coming in? Well, I think um, one of the things that's uh, that matters in league play is when you get to play at home and when, to, when you get to play on the road. So I think us at home, especially coming off Wednesday's um, match, scoring those goals, they were good goals that we scored. Coming off a disappointing uh, result um, that we had over the weekend, last weekend, it was important for us to, you know, to come out with a sense of urgency, and I thought we did that very well in the first half. Now talk about the ball distribution a little. We've seen goals from forwards, midfielders, and even a couple defenders here. How important is that for this team to spread the ball around? Well, I think it's very important because obviously everyone knows Alexis McTammany from last year and how she's very proficient at scoring. So she's been double teamed and triple teamed and, and having challenges as far as getting chances because the other teams are focusing on her. So the fact that Rochelle Ross has stepped up and, and scored some goals is, is important for our attack. And, and obviously when you can get contributions from midfield as well, then it just it helps things it helps open up things uh, for the forwards. Now going forward in conference play, what do you guys need to continue to do? Well, I think you always have to get points at home. Um, that's that's extremely important. And then, you know, if you can if you can get some points on the road, then you're you're not only solidifying a spot in the top six, but you're having a chance, you know, to potentially fight for for a home um, for a home conference tournament. Thank you very much, Coach. You're welcome. That's head coach Tracy Turner after a three to one win over Niagara. For more information and for all Mammoth Hawks athletic information, log on to www.mammothhawks.com.